Welcome to Artie Crafty Alchemy. Today I am sharing with you a haul from Kaiser Craft. I'm the Artie Crafty Alchemist. Let's see what I bought this time. First of all, I'm just going to show you this travel paper pad. This first paper pad was meant to come in my first order and I didn't realise to almost a month later that they hadn't sent it. I'd done the unboxing but I hadn't checked my online order. I highly, highly, highly recommend you check your online list when you get your orders because they don't send a receipt in the box of what you were supposed to have ordered. So if you actually want to make sure everything's there, you have to look at your online receipts. So this is the travel pad and I wanted it because I've done some traveling so it will come in handy but it also has a lot of things that can be used for a more manly style of project and um, my cat has been all over it so I can't wait to get this put away <laughs> but we have some 6x6 six six cutter parts which of course if you want to use them on a card you could just cut some off I've used this on a decorated weekly planner pad and of course it's two of every sheet and we have some borders at the top so this one has the postmark borders and then we have postmarks and buildings then we have words wanderlust world go adventure happiness fun discover then we just have some polaroid type frames that you could use them as photo mats for a page or you could cut this piece out to use for something and then we have some more postmark borders and then we have this big page with all the polaroid stuff underneath and the camera and then we have some tone on tone black and grey postmarks and a map up the top then we have this beautiful world map we have some like a train station or subway marking type thing and then we have some borders of all the books in the world the best stories are found between the pages of a passport be where you want to be enjoy the view and live the adventure then we have this boko one and at the top we have the plane and flight route type page then we have this awesome vintage suitcase page and then we have a border strip of a cityscape then we just have a plain checked piece which can be good for layering and things then we have a polaroid strip at the top more world map here i'm in love with cities i've never been to and people i've never met and then this page which is the one i used for a weekly planner pad we have the words again memories live but this time it's in black and we have the bokeh at the top more these ones look like passport stamps and then some buildings lots of fun around the world pictures and then a little bit of a close-up of the cityscape in the strip world map and here we have like the subway or train station dot paper and then some more of the passport stamps at the top and we have some of the words in a strip and lots of signs there's still so much to see wanderlust just landed in road trip travel does the heart good now you can cut all of these apart and use them as ephemera and then we have this awesome cityscape page and you could again cut these down and use them as borders and then some more world map a subway type thing again and travel is the only thing you buy that makes you richer then we have the plane maps and again another strip of that border then we have the awesome cut aparts find your happy place our photos take us back to the moments where we felt most alive there is still so much to see where you go i will go wanderlust a strong innate desire to travel about and see the world and then we have some more journaling cut aparts even just layering piece cut aparts and then finally we have passport stamps with some more map at the top and then this one has the pictures again and this is that page with the cityscapes but it is so tone on tone you can barely see it even in real life camera is picking it up all right you can see the shapes then i have the box so let's <laughs> i have a box in a box so this is inside the box and let's have a look because i was so upset with my seafoam mini planner i ended up buying the ColourPop one i don't remember the seafoam one having this little pocket i'll have to check and it is just the same as the others and i will show a more detailed look at that on my planner channel but i really like the colors i thought it was going to be a darker blue actually but that's a really pretty blue so i'm happy i got that then i got butterfly skies which i thought was a cute little stencil that can be used on the front of a card again this was another order that i did on a 50 percent off day they did have a 40 percent off day the other day it's taken me a while to film this then i got background friend sentiments 
says things like if friends were flowers I'd pick you thank you for your love and friendship thankful to have met you you make me smile a true friend is a gift to cherish you are always in my heart so it's not just friends sentiments you can use them for various things you have to excuse the bit of paint in the background here my daughter is doing an art assessment and so everything's getting a bit painty and then I've got background birthday sentiments let's celebrate H is merely the number of years the world has been enjoying you it's my party sending birthday wishes not older just better I'm gonna have to keep that one out because I need to make a bunch of pro cards and that would be perfect for one of them I got the Windsor stamps I don't think I have this one if I do have it it'll end up in my giveaway I just love the butterfly ones then I got the precision scissors. I have my Cutter Bee scissors and I absolutely love them but I don't want to pay the price to get another set. They are quite expensive. Now this was a free gift. It's a notepad. I'm not sure which one it is. Artistic. So they threw that in the box as a free gift. And then here is the second Just Landed paper pad. I must have put that one back in the box by mistake. That's the one I've already opened. And then I got Misty Mountains. I was umming and ahhing about this. I'm really upset that this year, the colour of the year was purple and there really has not been a lot of purple. I mean, Kaiser Craft came out with this one, which is the only purple stack that they've had. A few other brands have had a limited amount of purple in theirs, but they've really clung on to what the rest of the colour palette was rather than push purple so I was really looking forward to this year being so purple orientated but it didn't happen so we have these gorgeous flowers and then at the top we have the hexagon border then we have the quatrefoil pattern and some polka dots at the top and again this is more blue than purple then we have the swirled blue and purple and geometric border at the top then we have these flowers which are blue and a peachy pink it's very pale so it's hard to pick what color it is but at the top of this one we just have a weird pattern and bokeh and again see that's the color in the other one and it's again this is more blue and then we've got the blue monotone flowers at the top here we have a purple this is purple polka dots and at the top we have purple bokeh back to blue blue flowers which are quite beautiful but again I would like to see some purple I don't think my camera is picking it up properly this is extremely blue the blue color is very Wedgwood-esque and we have white polka dots on pale blue then we have blue hexagons and just like a drag paint or trees I'm not sure what that is it does kind of look like sponged and dragged paint then this has a hint of purple in it but it's predominantly the cream and the rose and blue with little hints of purple and then we've got the border together is a beautiful place to be which is orange and blue I don't actually like that color combo so. <laughs> Then we have this painterly page and more hexagons. We've got arrows and a geometric hexagon triangle shape page. Then we have a geode page with the purple spots at the top. Then we have this page that has blues and the peachy dusky rose colour with leaves at the top. Then we have this beautiful sunrise or sunset page with marbling at the top. We have these blue tone on tone flowers with the quatrefoil pattern at the top. Then we have wood grain and marbling with the flowers in the corner. Flowers are blue and there's bits of purple in the leaves. Then we have these gorgeous cut aparts. I like this page because you can get a lot of use out of this if you're making cards and things like that. And the border is the hexagons again. And then together is a beautiful place to be on the blue again. And the wood grain. So thankful it only has one wood grain after getting that one stack that was one third or more wood grain. <laughs> and then arrows and the purple kind of like glitter. It does really look like a close up of glitter and it's blurred out at the edges and you just have this middle section that is in focus. And then we have this beautiful blue ombre type page that is gorgeous with the leaves at the top. And then we have these flowers with the polka dots at the top. And then this is pale blue with the bokeh at the top and I think that is the last one. And then I have the pen and ink stack. It's a very vintage stack that can be used for both men and women. So we start off with this beautiful layered page with the black ruler at the top then we have the old worldy like labels at the top and some beautiful flowers and in the background there is also some very faint text it's a more green color than is showing up 
more sage. Then we have butterflies with words and postmarks. Value, inspire, always cherish moments forever, remember, love, and then it starts again. We have another ruler at the top with a tile type design and a bigger ruler with a newspaper type background with some flowers and a chandelier some beautiful flowers black and white and another tape measure some stripes with typewriter keys some viewfinders and block printing letters I can't remember what they're called I keep having a brain freeze when I get to these then we have script with clocks a tile pattern with lace beads and a wallpaper type pattern postmarks a ledger type pattern with some butterflies and flowers and script lace with those letters at the top spots and music it's random ripped out pages of books and then layered all different bits of ephemera and a bit of lace up there tiny little black flowers with a grid pattern at the top postmarks and card suits at the top then bingo cards with words at the top smile family believe explore and then directions for making way pattern number 1895 and then a little pattern then a big frame with it looks like a twill type ribbon or something like that with the two-tone then we have these gorgeous pieces that you could cut around to make ephemera with and some music notes and you've got butterflies and flowers and old telephones chandeliers then we've got the grid pattern and script the typewriter keys and a bigger pattern at the top with instructions and then this awesome map i'm very partial to maps and a wallpaper type pattern at the top music with flowers at the top and that's the end of that one now i'll just show you quickly these ones i'm not going to take them out of the packet i'll do a separate video for that this is the anthology collection the romantic collection and the wandering ivy collection so that was my kaiser craft haul if you did enjoy this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this and hit the bell notification if you want to know when new videos come out i'll also link my new planner channel up here so if you want to see all things planner related that's where to go i'll see you all next time thanks for watching bye Today I am sharing with you a haul for- oh sorry I just had to check which one it was. <laughs> this is my favourite page. I love the big version of this. I've used this on a weekly plan- a weekly- I've used this on a decorated weekly pet Then I got the precision scissors- then I got the precision- <laughs> just random ripped word- ra <laughs>